hello everyone uh, welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have m plus n equals to 6 and m n equals to 36 and we solve this problem for the values of m and n so here first we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two so here first we need to focus on equation number one so that from equation number one we have here we move this m to the right hand side and it will be written as n equals to 6 minus m and we call this is our equation number three so here uh, we will just put this value of n in equation number two so that equation number two is implies that this is m times of n and we have the value of n is 6 minus m equals to 36 so here in the next step uh, we multiply this m on both of these terms it will be written as 6m minus m squared equals to 36 so here we move these two terms to the right hand side so this is minus m squared becomes plus m squared this is plus 6m becomes minus 6m and this is plus 36 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and uh, now here further uh, we can make the factors of this equation or we will apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 36 so here we write the quadratic formula we state the quadratic formula as in this form minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula and now we will substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as after substituting the values so it will become this is minus b the value of b is minus 6 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 6 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 6 and minus 6 square equals to 36 this is minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and you write it as 6 plus minus square root of here we take common 36 so when you take common 36 we will get here 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 so uh, after this step we uh, rewrite this equation as this is uh, here this is 36 and we know that uh, square root of uh, 36 equals to 6 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 so here we need to break this fraction and it will be written as 6 over 2 plus minus 6 into here we again break the square root sign and we write the square root on a square root of 3 and we write separately the square root on minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so you see that this is 2 3 is a 6 and this is also 2 3 is a 6 so we obtain here 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 into this is minus 1 square root equals to iota and these are the values of m so now here from these two values of m we will find the uh, corresponding values of n so uh, here in order to find the corresponding values of m first we will uh, write these two values of m separately so here we write first the positive value of m here it is 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and here we write the negative value of m it is 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota so here uh, after that we uh, need equation number three here so that equation number three is implies that this is n equals to six minus m so first we put this value of m here and it will be written as n equals to six minus m the value of m is three plus uh, three times of square root of three iota and here we put this value of m and it will be written as n equals to 6 minus m 
the value of m is 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota so here further uh, we need more simplifications and now we multiply so here uh, we will multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it will be written as 6 minus 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota so here uh, it will be written as this is 6 minus 3 becomes here 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota so this is the value of n and corresponding to the value of uh, m is this one this is 3 plus square root of 3 iota and now here we need to focus on the second case so from this case we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms it will be written as 6 minus 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota so this will be written as 6 minus 3 becomes 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one okay so finally we have uh, the two values of uh, m and n are these values are equals to the value of m is uh, uh, 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota the value of n is 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota this is the first solution of the given problem and the second solution set is 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota this is the second solution of the given equation so now here in the next step we need to verify these two solutions so that here uh, i can just verify the one solution and i can left the other verification of solution for up to you you can verify the second solution by yourself so here i can just verify this solution only okay so here for for verification we will copy down the given question statement it is m plus n equals to 6 and m multiplied by n equals to 36 so if we focus here this is the value of m this is the value of n so we put these two values here it will be written as uh, the value of m is 3 plus 3 times of square root of 3 iota plus the value of n is 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and it is equals to 6 and, sim and in the parallel case uh, if we put these values here it will be written as 3 plus 3 times of uh, square root of 3 iota multiplied by 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and it is equals to 36 so here first we need to focus on here so this is the negative term and positive term are cancelled by each other and here we get this is 3 plus 3 becomes 6 equals to 6 this shows that the first solution satisfied the first equation and now here we move towards our uh, second equation so in the, in this equation we can apply the algebraic formula it is written as 3 square minus 3 into square root of 3 iota square equals to 36 so 3 square becomes 9 minus here this 3 square equals to 9 and this uh, square root of 3 square equals to 3 and this iota becomes iota square equals to 36 so here this will be written as 9 minus 9 3 is are 27 and this iota square equals to minus 1 so this minus times of minus becomes plus and this is equals to 36 so this will become 36 equals to 36 this shows that uh, the first solution satisfies the se uh, second equation also okay this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos